What's up everybody, it's Park with BI Elite. We just finished contest number four over at training.bielite.com. In this contest, participants were able to connect to GameStop stock price data as well as Wall Street Bets subreddit activity data. This contest was open to everyone and we got some really great report submissions. In this video, we're gonna cover the top three winning reports. There were some really, really cool ones. I definitely recommend that you interact with these reports yourself. We're only gonna be covering a few pieces of each report. If you do wanna play with them, the link to this page is down in the description. So to get us started, our first winning report comes from Andy Murphy. Andy has put together an awesome report that basically tells the story of what has been happening with GameStop stock and the Wall Street Bets subreddit and what's happening with Melvin Capital as well. So as you can see, just right off the bat, it grabs your attention with this nice jumbotron. You even have a couple of stock price stickers that are constantly going and you can pause them. It's, it's really cool and kind of dynamic and really grabs your attention from the very beginning. But the thing I love most about this report is it's styled to look exactly like a Reddit comment. So in case you're not familiar, uh, Andy basically lays out what has been going on with GameStop stock. He explains the situation perfectly in this kind of Reddit comment style post. He's also thrown in these funny emojis that you'd be familiar with if you were active in the Wall Street Bets subreddit. That's really cool. So after you read about what's been going on in the world of GameStop stock, you can scroll down and you'll be presented with a couple of really cool visuals showing us the GameStop stock price over time. We also have the annual average dollars per share over time. These are really cool graphs and they're pretty insightful, but the really cool thing is Andy then explains what you should be gleaning from these two visuals. So in case you're maybe not a visual person and maybe you just wanna read about what insights you should take away, Andy does a nice job to sum them up in this extra little Reddit comment. So like I said before, contestants were able to connect to a couple different data sets, one covering GameStop stock price data and the other being the Reddit activity data. So everything we've seen so far covers the GameStop stock price data. And then Andy incorporates the Reddit activity data, but he includes a warning or a bookmark that allows you to remove the censorship in order to show these Reddit comments that might have some profanity in them as well. So as you're watching this video, if you don't wanna see any profanity, you might wanna stop here, but if you're okay with it, I'm gonna click on his bookmark and it's going to open up the Reddit data that we can now look at. So he starts off with a couple of visuals showing the polarity of the comments versus the open price of GME stock price. It's very interesting to see the trend of the polarity versus the stock price. Similarly, he plots the polarity versus the average open in a scatter plot form, and you're able to see a direct correlation. And again, if you want to just understand what's being shown in the visuals, you can see it in this nice Reddit comment. Down below, there's more information about the Reddit comment data. There's a nice word cloud showing the most used words within these Reddit comments. And if you wanna see the individual Reddit comments, you can see it in this table form. There's even a link to these Reddit comments directly on reddit.com. I definitely recommend that you go play with this report yourself. It's so much fun. As an avid Reddit user myself, and I'm pretty familiar with what's been going on with GameStop stock, it's so interesting to see how Andy has put this together and it looks just like Reddit. It's really, really cool. Uh, there is one credit page in case you want to check out Andy. Here's Andy's contact info, and there's also some more contact info below this report on the webpage. Moving on, our second report winner is Amadeo Magini who has put together a really, really cool report, very all-encompassing of these two data sets. Amadeo actually went the extra mile and brought in some more data sets, for example, containing BlackBerry data or Nokia stock price data. So that's pretty cool. This first tab gives you an idea of what this report is about. So if you just wanna get familiar with what it's about to show you, this is a really good first tab. I'm gonna focus on a couple of tabs that really caught my eye, and that's the stock simulator. <laughs> Uh, this is a really cool page that explains to you if you would have bought a certain number of shares of a certain stock at what time, how much money you could have made in a best and worst case scenario. So that's really cool. For example, if I select that I wanted to buy Nokia stock on a certain date, let's say I bought 2000 shares. This shows you how much money you could have made if you would have sold at the very top or sold at the very bottom. I actually wanna change that to GameStop to see how much money some people could have made. For example, if you bought 2,000 stocks, you could have made almost a million dollars if you would have sold at the peak. Besides just showing this visually, Amadeo also adds the smart narrative visual that kind of lays it out for you in text form. For example, if you bought 2,001 stocks on that date and you invested this much dollars, this would have been the maximum profit if you would have sold on the best day. I really like that because it's very easy to understand, kind of holds the user's hand through it. That's really cool. And then the second tab that I really liked was this Wall Street Bets tab. So this breaks down all of the subreddit activity, another nice word cloud. This one includes some emojis in there because that is uh, very consistent throughout the subreddit. It's really interesting to see some of these words. And if you're familiar with the subreddit, you would, you would see a lot of these words are, are very familiar. But a really cool piece uh, that I liked on this tab was you can select a single stock here, and then you can open up this uh, drill through button in order to see the most voted posts about that stock. So if I wanted to see BlackBerry stocks, click on BlackBerry, click on the button, 
and these are all of the stocks that contain BlackBerry or BB. That's really cool because he subdivided these data sets and kind of allowed you to search for certain stocks. This data set came through with just a bunch of different posts. So the ability to index it based on the stocks is a really cool idea. So overall, this is an amazing report. Go ahead and click through, check out the first couple of tabs that we skipped over. Make sure you check out Amadeo's work. This is amazing. Now on to our third winning report. This one comes from Aeteo. Let's open that one up. I like this report because it's very clean and simple. This report utilizes the Power BI.tips layouts. I'm a big fan of Power BI.tips and I also like their layouts. They give you a good starting point on how to design your Power BI reports. And that's exactly what Aeteo has done here. He's used that layout and then built the navigation around that layout. On the very first tab, we can see the volume trend of the GameStop stock over time, the average highs and lows by year. We see this very large anomaly for 2021. The other items I really liked on this report is Aoteo uh, added a lot of great time intelligence to this report. For example, the year over year page, that's going to show us the volume this year versus volume last year trend. It's really cool to be able to see that side by side. And even down below, it's showing the percent volume change by year. So we can see the big swings in volume from year to year. And similarly, you're able to see this on the monthly scale. So you can view the volume versus volume last year from month to month. That's really cool. And you can also see that percent volume change by month. I really like his addition of this time intelligence kind of adds a, another deeper level to the analysis of this GameStop stock data. If you want to check out Aoteo's contact information, the link to his LinkedIn is down below the report. So those are the three winning reports. I think everyone did an amazing job with this Power BI report build, really cool data sets, uh, but they were able to do something kind of unique with each one of their Power BI reports, and I, I love them all. If you're excited to compete in our fifth contest, that'll be starting March 1st, 2021, so just around the corner. It's open to everybody, so make sure you check out the page closer to March. We'll have more information about the data set that we'll be using in that contest. With that, congrats to all of our contest winners. You all did a great job and I'll see you in the next one.